Hello there everyone, this is Neko Knight here, getting ready to play Rose and Flame. And we're gonna be playing with the mini bosses today. We're gonna be trying to take down two for this episode. We're gonna try to take down two for the next episode. And then after that, probably take down the boss afterwards. So hopefully you guys follow along and enjoy. On top of that, if you've got any games you want to see me play, leave some suggestions. If enough people suggest it, I'll play it. Mostly because I'm very poor as hell, so I can't always afford to get some games. However, that's why I said enough people suggest I'll play. Anyways, on to the what we need to do. I went ahead and got myself my bow repaired. I have also went ahead and got myself the boots, the the full ring set of the equipment other than the helmet, but the helmet's weaker than this. Holy flip. The boots give an insane cold resistance. I wonder if that's a bug. I may have just wasted my uh, things getting some cold aura rings. I went ahead and got three fires because one of the bosses has fire idiots and yeah. Oh, do I have no? Do I have enough to get the sword? We need twelve and I have fifteen. Okay, hold on a sec here. We're gonna get myself this sword because it's gonna be useful. So, let me get this real quick and then I'll be right back.
sorry, I've got the sword, I've got my bow, I've got my armor, I've got everything ready and set up, i got my flame resistance. Uh, I, if I remember correctly, for at, at least three of the bosses, you're going to need mithril, one mithril, you're going to need three manticores, you're going to need one nature essence, and one of the bosses, if I remember correctly, needed five metal plates. I do not remember exactly, and I don't remember what, how I, or which boss I took down, which just confused me. Oh, and I did get myself a teleporter up here, so now I can get water, go to the trader, trade soup, all that fun stuff, and be able to get nibbler, nibbler leather very, very quickly. This boss is the fire boss, so we'll go play with him first. He's the one that you need the nature uh the one the one nature essence and this ooh, where the hell am i going here let's just mark it on the map there okay you could use range but as far as i can tell the sword is kind of better option here i tried using archery once and the stupid there's there were so many f the f there's way too many fire idiots that is the biggest biggest threat that has been to in this game is fire enemies all fire enemies they all have been what has killed me has destroyed me has slaughtered me uh, so you can pop these because as far as I can tell you can run into them and de reduce the debuff of the fire I, I, I think I don't I haven't actually 100% tested it but it's actually uh, a good th it, it, I, I recommend doing it because if you're running around and trying to dodge and you run into one of these yeah you're not gonna have a fun time you're gonna be taking extra unnecessary damage and you're not gonna want that all right i have i have a trouble detonating the stupid idiots but i i, I know you can detonate them H him you want to be careful if you oh wow okay I might want to just stick to my bow oh no wait I should have made the staff for this guy because if you back around and burn him you can deal a lot of damage and you just got to be careful he seems to be magic resistant Be careful not to get too close to him and not too far away. This I, I should have made this. Yep. I I should have made the staff. I forgot he's physical resistant as hell. The burn damage is where you'll get most of your uh, damage on him. Uh, you. Uh, my staff may not last. Ooh. I will also say that they respawn the stupid idiots too quickly. If I can get in here, I need to. Okay, we need to get out of here and heal real quick. As you can see, fire has been the hardest. If it wasn't for those guys burning me so much, I could actually deal with him exceptionally easily. And if you're curious about the detonating thing, the, what you do is you get these guys close to that and ta-da. The issue is, is him? Dang it. Ooh 
That's why I said don't get too far because he has exceptionally predictability skills. If you can, you can use those idiots to shoot their fire at him. Yep. I gotta get out of here. Wee. If I had healing potions, it would be also easier. But you can use those fire idiots to get rid of him. As you can, this personally, as far as I can tell, this is like one of the best ways to deal with him. And these guys, if you can get them to detonate on him, you can save yourself a lot of durability. Woohoo! You missed. So if you're coming across him, I recommend getting the uh, metal wand instead. Every other enemy, I recommend using the sword with. I gotta hurry up and get heal up and get this guy because there is a time limit. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to farm uh, nature crystals in order to get a nature or nature essence to get nature crystals. Either way, I've got to do a little bit of farming to get rid of. Try not to get too far away from this idiot. If I can just get them to hit him instead. Uh oh. Okay. If you. This is why I wanted the. Ow. This is why I wanted the fire resistance equipment or rings. No! Oh, you missed me! <laughs> Personally, I think there are way too many of these guys. Ah! Uh, he got me. That's why I you don't want to be too far away. Now I got to get back and fly over and get all that stuff. Because there is a time limit and I got to make sure to heal. I don't know if there's a death limit too. But as you can see, fire. These idiots, the most powerful of all enemies. Like absolute no joke. Uh, oh, they're killing him. Oh, I think if they kill him, you have to actually re uh, resummon him because I think that's what happened on my last time I played through once. So I recommend being careful on that. Oh, there we go. We have the full ring set up. Although, as you can see, defense 9, cold resistance 5. It's great for cold resistance, but not defense. So if you want defense, I recommend keeping the black mask. If you want cold, I recommend the ring helmet. Since I have... 55 cold and if I remove these off and I put on these and let's say that now I have 72 cold actually no minus the roof I have 52 cold all right on to the next boss what is the where is the next close oh this one we'll go to this one this is the one I screwed up once by accident by playing peekaboo. And this is where I learned that the enemies had the ability to shoot range attacks. 
before they didn't actually have that stupid lightning bolt thing that you saw that hit me and killed me they didn't enemies didn't have that before so i ended up getting smacked by that and i'm like oh okay nice thing to learn let's see if i can make it onto the ground here so i can fly up this area is full of storms and all that, so you got it's can be a danger to get here. All right, up we go. Stuck in that. Whee! There we go. Now, as far as I can tell, you can actually run around down here until the idiots disappear. And then you can go up there and play with him. And this is the one where you need the metal sacrifice thing. But he... Woo, ow. Okay, I'll wait for these to despawn and heal. That's That stupid attack is what got me last time. Alright. There they go. Oh, ow. They got me out here. Alright. They do eventually despawn. At least as far as I can tell. And this eventually becomes a safe spot to play, uh, deal with. But him, you can you can pretty much just use your range attack and just stay within a certain distance of him. You don't want to be too close, but you don't want to be too far. And then you can just simply slaughter him like this. Ow. And you can use him to kill his stupid idiots. Whee. I would try and go for his face, but it's such a small target with him also moving. It becomes a pain. Plus, I th as far as I can tell... They all, no matter where you hit him, he always, you always hit the same amount of damage. And as, as you can see, once those stupid uh, ice guys are gone, he's actually extremely easy as hell. Because once he does that, you can just simply pelt him twice, back around, and then just, ta-da! Oop, I got a little... One thing I need to work on is stamina. Woo. And you don't need ring armor. You can actually do this with leather armor too. It's just if he smacks you with that, you're going to be knocked over a little bit. And then he gets like a double shot on you. And uh, that's not fun. Woo, I missed. As you can see, 90% of my fight was taken up by the fire guy. This guy, is, as you can see, was easy as hell. Alrighty, well, I guess I'll call that an end. I didn't actually expect to get through so quickly. So, if you guys enjoyed watching the fights and watching me die on the first boss and almost dying on the second boss, please like. If you didn't... Well, I understand, although usually at this point, you probably did like it, but that's just me being, uh, uh guessing. <laughs> yeah. Alright, well, if you want to be added on to the end screen credits like these people, make sure to publicly subscribe. After about two or so weeks, I'll add you on. If you leave before I reach a thousand, though, I'll remove you off, because it's for people who gave me a chance. For now, if you want to see more of this series, check out the end screen credits. If you want to see other games, check out my channel. I do play other games. 
And I got myself another metal bow. This one for cold. Alrighty. Well, let's get ready for the next two fights. And then after that, we can prep for the boss fight. Where I'll get probably utterly slaughtered. Anyways, for now, bye-bye. And see you next time.